Beagle 2. It was a British spacecraft that cost £50 million. And its mission, more than a decade ago, was to land on Mars. But it disappeared in December 2003 as it neared the Red Planet, from where it was supposed to start transmitting data back to Earth once it had landed. And it hadn't been heard from since. But today, scientists announced that they have found it. Here it is, these grainy images showing it on the surface of Mars, just a couple of miles from its intended landing site. Our science editor, David Shookman, reports. Somewhere in the alien landscape of Mars, a tiny British spacecraft lay missing for more than a decade. Beagle 2 was sent to search for evidence of life. The first signal was meant to be a tune by the band Blur. But there was no sign of it, and the assumption was that the spacecraft had crashed on Christmas Day 2003. We do not have a signal from Beagle 2. The man behind the mission was the colourful figure of Colin Pillinger. He died last year, so we'll never know of today's news that Beagle 2 did actually make it. A poignant moment for his family. It's great that it landed. Um, he would have been so pleased. Um, we can only try and show you how pleased we are for him. So it's a great moment for you? Definitely a great moment. The discovery came in new pictures, a small but distinct shape, too bright to be a boulder, and right in the landing zone. Scientists believe the spacecraft had started working. This is a life-size copy of Beagle 2, and it helps explain what happened. Clearly, the spacecraft touched down in good enough condition to start deploying its solar panels. The scientists reckon that at least two of them opened, possibly a third as well. But then something went wrong. The panels didn't all deploy, which meant that the radio transmitter inside couldn't get its signals out. The upshot is that this British mission to Mars came tantalizingly close to working. Looking for a very, very small object on the surface of Mars. For the scientists who manage the mission, there's a mix of emotions. Elation that Beagle 2 worked, that we all apparently did our jobs and we got it there. And our frustration that it didn't fully deploy and work and we get the world class science we were hoping from Beagle 2. Whatever the outcome, Colin Pillinger believed it inspired a new generation of scientists. And many are now working on another mission to Mars, a European rover due to be launched in a few years time. David Shukman, BBC News.